Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose. You're watching Up Team Charlie. I'm just gonna give you a BTC Bitcoin update. As you can see in the chart right now, on my uh, left, my left, your right. Oh, by the way, before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Okay, many of you are forgetting that every time you watch my videos okay it's it's a form of a tip okay so you know give me a tip by uh give me a like and you know the best is you could put a comment you know saying that you don't like the video oh would you like to feature this uh x coin token blah 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 you know uh, help me help you and uh you know you help me too Okay, so without further ado, let's discuss uh, BTC. Uh, right now, we are in the BTC slash USDT uh, chart. Uh, one day, one day chart. Okay, and uh, this one, let's edit this one so you could uh, see. This is the RSI, RSI, uh, RSI chart. And uh, you see that? I hope you see that. Okay. So this is the RSI chart and as you can see there is a what that's that's what you call a confluence okay so the the daily on the daily uh, on the day chart RSI uh, for a couple of days was uh, pointing down so that's a uh, you know confluence okay but this one is a bearish confluence and uh, the question now uh, will uh, Bitcoin you know still uh, go down or are we gonna go up so this is just one chart and uh, let's check uh, the others uh, here at uh, a different uh, different uh, category and let's check the the what oh yeah okay it's already up so let's check the there you go so we're checking the daily here but we're using the moving averages 20 and uh, 50 the 20 is the green on the daily time frame okay and uh, 50 is the red one okay so as you can see it has touched already <coughs> touched the 20 so how do you use the 20 and 50 uh, i think i've uh, explained this in my facebook uh, page and uh, i don't know if i have explained it in uh, my previous videos but for your benefit if you're using 20 ma uh, just make sure that the inputs uh, the smoothing length is 5 and put the length at 50 okay smoothing length uh, 5 okay so you put it in a daily time frame <clears throat> and as you can see here this one was a bearish cross or a death cross this one was a uh, what this one was a uh, golden cross okay or a, a bull, bullish cross so it means prices is gonna go up uh, until it uh, creates another death cross here and then prices uh, is gonna go down but as you can see every time uh, it goes up uh, it is above the 20 moving average okay and as as long as the 50 if it's not sinking yet in the 50 moving average it's still up okay uh, so when it uh, for example in this part this part it uh, what it created a uh, death cross and uh, basically the price went down and you could correlate it with uh, here as you can see the stochastic rsi went down already because they were selling and uh you know and then macd was also pointing downwards slowly okay until it reached this point 
Now, as you can see, uh, the rule of thumb, remember, if you're doing doing a, a uh, the other one, which is this one, the Bollinger Bands, uh, many times I've already told this in this video, but for your sake, I'm going to tell you again. So as you can see, uh, it bottomed here uh, and it went outside the Bollinger Band on the bottom side. So prices is low, right? Oh, there's oversold, okay, oversold level. But the, uh, the regular RSI didn't touch the, the ground, okay? It didn't even touch the outside of the, or on the bottom side of the RSI. And even the stochastic RSI didn't touch it. But it's still a, a, a good signal that it's already bottomed, okay? And then this one was... Uh, perfectly almost perfect here in fact uh, MACD was was already uh, in advance by one day that uh, you know, Bitcoin price is going to go down so it went down and then it went up again so if you put put uh, the MA back again 50 and uh, 20 MA so it went back again and there you go. You had uh, what? I don't know how many uh, percentage, but it went up. Okay, now we're going down again. It's you know surpassing uh, the 20 moving average, the green one. And the question is, can it retain it like this one and goes up? Because I cannot see yet another crossing of the 20 and uh, 50 moving average so this may go up still uh, to the 34 33 34 i mean 31 again coming soon okay so let's hope that uh, this will help uh, push uh, bitcoin to another level but then again everybody was like talking about uh you know this part, which is what, the 25 part, the 25 part and, and the 28 part here. So those are the next, next, uh, you know, support that you have to look out for in case this collapse. Okay, so if this collapse, it goes to 28,000 uh, somewhere in, the, in this range. And then if it collapse again, it may go to 26,000 levels here, or 27, you know, 27,000 level here, because there's a lot of uh, support going on in this part until it bottoms down here at uh, 26. 25 you know most likely it's gonna bottom to like 25 that would be the waste, waste, uh, worst case scenario okay that's uh bitcoin for you and i hope you're listening and uh we're eight minutes and uh, let's check other uh coins so let's go uh, how about injective you know that i'm invested in injective and let's see the charts. <clears throat> let's use the daily chart and uh, MA20 and MA50. This just started a, a bullish or a golden cross on the daily chart. So that's good, like this one. Like this one. It went up, up, up. So this hopefully <coughs> is a good signal that, uh, you know, uh, injective might go up again okay so let's check another one about render you know render render and render is bottom of the 20 moving average so we are still here but if you inject the bollinger band hmm, hmm. no hmm there's a possibility but you have to wait for it to uh, rise a little 
but if you want to buy in render now and there's a good chance that it could go up because uh, the stochastic RSI size is already bottom down mm, it's a 50 50 for me when it's for render but I uh, better look out for render and uh, what oh, Joe Joe is also my favorite these days doing good performance lately and uh, let's remove the BB again we're in the daily time trade this is Joe trader Joe and uh, it had a quick uh, what quick golden cross here and then uh, what what's this yeah so we're in the death death cross so you have to wait for uh, Joe oh Joe and the uh, radiant is similar so this might go up uh, very soon let's check the Bollinger band mm, 50 50 also so you better better monitor Joe and uh, you know this might uh, might go up very soon so it's not very far it's not very far from uh, the 50 moving average as well so there's room to grow and uh, you know maybe two more days before it goes up but I think this is a good chance to buy uh, Trader Joe and what else and uh, let's check on Arbitrum so Arbitrum on the daily chart is what is this is the death cross so it's starting to have a small golden cross death cross went down golden cross it should go up so it's still oh, like Joe and like <coughs> radiant uh, like Joe and uh, render it's, it's the, the stochastic is also down but uh, the MACD is not down no, unlike uh, uh, Trader Joe and uh, Render is already a bit down but it's not as extreme as this one so I was hoping to find this one like this one and then it went up a bit mm -hmm. so uh, it's 50-50 for Arbitrum but you know just watch out it just uh, created a death cross so it's so it may have a just a steady steady price going on okay and for those who wants to uh, bet on Solana 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 oh okay we are a bit too late because if you check on um, you know uh, Bollinger band it already went out and this one also confirms that RSI stochastic RSI and the MACD this is one of those so supposedly perfect time to go in so what when, when was that uh, that was in uh, June 11 June 12 June 13 and June 14 especially June 14 was time to buy okay so it bottomed down and now it went up okay so let's let's it's now in the overbought stage so let's just wait and since it's already overbought let's uh, huh. but it's already overbought but it just crossed here and this this was supposedly a death cross but it was a quick death cross which is it's okay and then now it's in it created a uh, golden cross here okay so that's a golden cross so this all is just gonna go up until this one touches touches each other the MACD then you know there's a big possibility that it will still go up again well it's already going up today 11 
June 11, you, know, you, sh you should have bet on uh, yesterday, but it's already up. So you, you need the price to go down a bit from 21 to 22 dollars a dollar increase from yesterday okay so that's uh, sold for you sold is doing fine and who else uh, ethereum in case you want to buy ethereum to trade to swing trade <coughs> ethereum just uh, uh crossed had a golden cross and that's good okay so what else but uh it's still going down here ah we're dead cross golden cross okay golden cross dead cross golden cross ah wait huh 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 that's this golden cross then golden cross golden cross not enough data so i think this is a death cross and then the golden cross then uh, death cross and this is it's a continuation of the death cross because it really didn't cross each other and this is a golden cross so we're in the golden cross for ethereum and uh you know if you as if it uh go, if uh, it, if it goes well it's already touching the 20 moving average and if we do the bollinger band on a daily time frame it's going uh up yeah the 20 moving average this is the 20 moving average by the way that's the 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 middle of of the bollinger band so it's going up but the best time to buy was when on june 14 june 14 was the best time to buy at 1640 uh, ish levels okay 1650 1, levels so that that is ethereum for you it's still in the bullish bullish run macd is uh, you know there's some uh, slight selling and uh, stochastic is about to uh, blast again rsi is in the middle like the 20 moving average here it's in the middle okay so let's blind this one and it's about to go up the 20 moving average so that's good okay so again don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and uh, bitcoin has a you know negative confluence but uh, i hope that uh, things go well in the next days you know sometimes uh everything's uh, like sideways actions action since the day it uh, pump uh, in uh, 21 june 21 and then starting june 22 23 uh, so the sideways action uh, is still there. Okay, so this is our sideways action. So that's in between uh, 29,000, uh, 29,000, uh, 29,500, and uh, 31,000, uh, 31,500 level. So that's our uh, range for several days now and uh usually if, if it does that maybe i don't know how long maybe we could uh last for how many days of uh you know wishy-washy maybe like this one uh, maybe like this one it started like this and uh you know maybe we need uh, 88 days <laughs> how much is this two months yeah two months starting from uh 60 no four three six nine oh my god that's around three months okay we'll have three months of this july june july 
July, August, September. <laughs> and then there's you have the, the September, which will pull down the price. So, hi. Anyway, that's uh, crypto for you. Uh, see you on my next video. Goodbye. Adios. Arrivederci.